Hello and welcome to another edition of Energy and You, a weekly package of recent activities by the Nigerian National Oil Company, NNPC Limited. This week, Nigerian International Energy Summit kicks off, focusing on global perspectives for a sustainable energy future. And Niger Republic models after Nigeria's successes in oil and gas development. Also, Understanding the role of information technology and artificial intelligence in national growth and development, NNPC plays host to Nigerian Defense Academy. I'm Egosa Higumbo, and you're watching Energy and You. Thank you for staying with us. It's still energy and you. Well, let's begin with the top stories making the rounds in the global energy space. The Group of Seven Coalition will keep a $60 per barrel price cap on seaborne Russian oil, a coalition official said, despite rising global crude prices and calls by some countries for a lower price cap to restrict Moscow's revenues. The International Energy Agency has warned in its monthly reports that the output cuts announced by OPEC Plus producers risked exacerbating an oil supply deficit expected in the second half of the year and could hurt consumers and a global economic recovery. Further tightening supplies, oil exports from northern Iraq to the Turkish port of Cahen remain at a standstill almost three weeks after an arbitration case ruled Ankara owed Baghdad compensation for unauthorized exports. Rising costs for Middle Eastern crude supplies, which meets half of Asia's demands, are already squeezing refiners' margins, prompting them to secure supplies from other sources. Brazilian state-run oil company Petrobras will cut natural gas prices by an average 8.1% starting May 1, when compared with the February-April data. Well, those are your top stories making the round in the energy space this week. The sixth edition of the Nigerian International Energy Summit, an annual event organized by the Nigerian government, began on Monday in Abuja with the theme, Global Perspectives for a Sustainable Energy Future. NNPC played host to one of the most significant industry events which had delegates from Africa and around the world in attendance. Take a look. Sharing global perspectives for a sustainable energy future is why experts in the energy space, industry leaders from around the world, regulators and exhibitors are gathered here. Over the next few days, we will hear from experts and ladies from across and leaders from across the global energy industry and we will engage in productive discussions about the key issues facing our industry today. I am confident that this summit will provide a valuable platform for us to share, build networks, identify opportunities for collaboration and innovation. The sixth edition of the Nigeria International Energy Summit has provided us all with a platform to tell our story and engage further based on our unique landscape and strength which will eventually contribute to form part of the global narrative. NNPC will continue to leverage our partners with the industry, government research institutions and the academia to ensure energy security and sustainability. NNPC is also investing heavily in critical gas infrastructure such as the Ajaukuta Abuja Kano, popularly known as AKK gas pipeline, and the OB3, that is Obricon Obiafo uh, gas interconnector to support 5 BC, BCF of gas per day of domestic gas utilization, including 5 gigawatt of power generation capacity by developing power plant projects along the AKK corridor and across the country to complement the existing ones. For the gas export market, 
the ongoing NLNG Trend 7 will expand Nigeria's LNG production capacity to about 30 million tons per annum. This is in addition to the planned Nigeria, Morocco and Trans-Sahara gas pipeline projects which will supply gas to sub-regional African countries and subsequently Europe. Nigeria is on board with the present and future demand for energy. While maximizing its hydrocarbon resources to address energy poverty, it is keeping the net zero carbon emission target in view. We officially declared natural gas as the transition fuel for Nigeria. We launched many initiatives to ensure that natural gas optimization and utilization is a reality. The national gas policy of 2017 articulated the policy goals, strategies, and implementation plan to reposition Nigeria as an attractive gas-based industrialized nation through the prioritization of local gas demand requirements, and we put in place a strategic framework to achieve the set objectives. While the quest towards achieving zero carbon emission by 2060 was brought to the fore, the challenges were not overlooked as speakers called for a just transition for Africa and an energy balancing act for a continent bedeviled by energy poverty. The journey towards decarbonization is an irreversible course. As the world drives towards a low carbon future, the clamor for just transition and taking into perspective the peculiarities and developmental challenges faced by Africa will remain. As the continent continues to grapple with worsening energy crisis, it is incumbent upon us to define our energy transition trajectory, which must also complement our energy security objectives. Transitioning to a low carbon economy in the face of energy poverty requires a delicate balancing act to define an optimal energy mix for Nigeria. The global oil sector alone will need cumulative investment of 12.1 trillion US dollars through to 2045. However, in recent years, we have heard calls from some to limit or stop funding for new oil and gas projects. This is disheartening and particularly impactful on developing countries with oil and gas resources. This great continent, Africa, has 120 billion barrels of proven oil reserves and 18 trillion standard cubic meters of natural gas. For countries to properly utilize these resources for the benefit of their people, investment levels must be adequate, whilst being mindful and taking actions to reduce the carbon footprint of the oil industry. However, movements by financial institutions to limit and stringently control how money is invested into fossil fuels under environmental, social and governance constraints impedes the realization of this potential. This comes despite the fact that Africa only accounts for around 3% of global greenhouse gas emissions. For our part, OPEC is determined to contribute to an investment-friendly environment by taking the actions necessary to encourage oil market stability under the Declaration of Cooperation. For the Secretary General of the Africa Petroleum Producers Organization, Africa must walk the talk in ensuring energy sufficiency. We have come to the conclusion that the future of the African petroleum industry lies in the hands of Africans. For those who have, in the last 75 years or so, provided us the finance, the technology, and the markets, will dump us as soon as they have found alternatives. And they are working hard to find those alternatives. What is APO doing about this? For the funding of the oil and gas projects across the continent, we've gone into partnership with the Africa, Energy, uh, Africa Exim Bank, Africa Exim, to establish the Africa Energy Bank. Its primary objective is to finance oil and gas projects in the, in the continent. Negotiations on the charter establishment and uh, establishment agreement and governance structure have reached advanced stage. Very soon, a decision will be taken on where to locate the headquarters of the bank and set a date for its takeoff. At the opening ceremony of the 6th Nigeria International Energy Summit, the tone is set 
and expectations are high. We're expecting to have a very rich conversation around the topics and uh, we believe that we'll also make a lot of contributions to let the P world know what PTI is doing in terms of humanizing energy. The first time here in Nigeria, uh, first time at the Nigeria International Energy Summit, we are looking for opportunities for both sides, Nigerian and Italian small and medium manufacturers, in order to improve and develop this big uh, Nigerian market and the big Nigerian opportunities that the energy transition is going to uh, propose and to uh, give to all of us. I like the comment that some of the participants made that look, we used to export everything we had in terms of energy. You produce crude, you produce hydrocarbon molecules, you export them. But now those who used to import them no longer want our crude, which is the opportunity for Africa now to use our own energy for the development of Africa. We want Africa to become fully industrialized. And when we continue to rob mines today, the product from a factory in Nigeria will find market across Africa. Beyond discussions, the five-day energy summit features exhibitions by notable oil and gas companies and events on the sidelines for networking. At the sixth edition of the Nigeria International Energy Summit, NNPC Limited bagged the Energy Innovation Award. NNPC Retail Limited bagged the Best Downstream Company Award, while the Chief Strategy and Sustainability Officer of NNPC Limited, Orishe Meiwa Eyeson, bagged the Women in Energy Award. The Energy Personality Award went to the Group Chief Executive Officer of NNPC Limited, Mele Kiari. As Africa strives to attain energy security, the development of hydrocarbon as a major source of energy remains. For the government of Niger, an effective collaboration through capacity development and strong governance laws cannot be overlooked. If its quest to ensure energy security through maximization of its abundant natural resources is to be realized. This formed part of discussions that took place when NNPC Limited played host to officials of the Nigerian Petroleum Ministry. The Republic of Niger became an oil producing nation in 2011 and has a small refinery of 20,000 barrels per day capacity, which meets its local demand and leaves a little for exports. To maximize the value of its hydrocarbon resources, the Nigerian Ministry of Petroleum Resources paid a visit to NMPC Limited to seek the company's partnership in building and developing its production and regulatory capacities so that it can stand at par with emerging oil and gas nations of the world. NMPC Limited, through the Executive Vice President Downstream, who represented the Group Chief Executive Officer of the company, expressed readiness to partner with Niger Republic's Petroleum Ministry in the area of capacity building and experience sharing. We are glad, you know, to collaborate and to partner, you know, with uh, the Ministry of Petroleum of Niger Republic. With this partnership forged, Niger Republic is expected to model after Africa's leading oil company, NMPC Limited, in strengthening its local content policy and other petroleum industry governance laws. Being members of the African Petroleum Producers Organization, the relationship is expected to bring on competencies and capacity development to the Trans-Sahara Gas Pipeline Project, an initiative that will further enhance industrialization and economic prosperity of the West African region. Speaking during the visit, the leader of the delegation and Secretary General of Niger Petroleum Ministry, who spoke through an interpreter, acknowledged the experience and vast knowledge of NMPC Limited in the oil and gas industry, while recognizing that Niger Republic has a lot to learn from Nigeria in the industry's value chain. Donc, à résumer, nous avons... We are a very young ministry that is just about a decade plus. Unlike the Nigeria petroleum industry that has existed for decades with a huge landmark. So we are here to seek ways of collaborations and partnership in capacity building, study professional experience, skill and learn strategies of infrastructural development. With this partnership forged, Niger Republic is expected to model after Africa's leading oil company, NMPC Limited, in strengthening its local content policy and other petroleum industry governance laws. Being members of the African Petroleum Producers Organization, 
the relationship is expected to bring on competencies and capacity development to the Trans-Sahara Gas Pipeline Project, an initiative that will further enhance industrialization and economic prosperity of the West African region. We'll take a quick break and when we come back, the program Energy and You rounds off with sights and sound from the ongoing 2023 Nigerian International Energy Summit. Stay with us. What do we do at NNPC? Since inception as the National Oil Company of Nigeria, our mandate has been to serve the nation by meeting the energy needs of over 200 million people. Over the years, we have invested in tomorrow's leaders and contributed to the development of communities across the nation. We have grown a network of over 500 service stations. We are the driving force behind the constantly growing Nigerian economy. With an efficient distribution network servicing all parts of the country, we ensure the highest quality standards in our crude refining processes. Nigeria boasts of immense oil and gas reserves which we explore in commercial quantities, providing endless opportunities for economic development. As we drilled for oil, we discovered vast amounts of gas, up to 200 trillion scope. By harnessing gas, we have reduced gas flaring and invested in liquefaction plants, shipping gas across the globe. Our energy footprint is remarkable. We supply gas to the domestic market for power generation, reaching all across Nigeria. Powering everything, anywhere, and everywhere. NNPC, energy for today, energy for tomorrow. Oh, energy for tomorrow. So come on, come on, let's go. Now, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Information Technology, is a major driver of the company's businesses, enhancing performance through process automation and provision of cutting-edge IT resources. Recently, NNPC Limited played host to a delegation of cadets from the Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna, who were at the company's headquarters in Abuja on a study tour aimed at developing the capacity of the cadets in furtherance of NNPC's commitment to supporting the military in protecting Nigeria's resources. For the Manager Information Technology Strategy and Planning at NNPC Limited, understanding the roles of information technology in determining the success of any business management, especially NNPC, was a good place to begin. We have our mission, which again, of course, has to align with the strategic mission or the mission of NNPC itself. Our mission is to provide information technology resources and services to radically drive NNPC business. And where do we want to be? We want to be the key enabler of NNPC business transformation by driving efficiency and encouraging performance for competitive advantage. That's our vision statement there. Also speaking on the role of IT in modern businesses, the Chief Corporate Communication Officer, who was represented by Head, Relationship and Stakeholders Management, said ICT tools and innovations have helped to position brands globally. The role of information technology cannot be overemphasized in our business today. And um, if we look at 
the oil and gas industry, um, the movement, right from the ex business of exploration to production, to marketing, even our own internal communication processes, our stakeholder management processes, we find out that our usage of the social media, our usage of artificial intelligence and technology to portray what we do and to also grow our business are becoming more and more pronounced. And that is why we have a very robust information technology division in NMPC. The Chief Corporate Communication Officer also acknowledged the onerous role of the military in securing the nation and protecting oil and gas facilities across the country, adding that NMPC Limited will continue to maintain a mutually beneficial relationship with the military and the Nigerian Defense Academy. In the last two to three hours, we have listened to a very well educative and intellectual lecture and a well guided tour around the facilities of the NNPC. I want to assure you that the knowledge gained here today will be put in good use, both in the Nigerian Defense Academy and also in our careers. One of the high points of the tour was a practical session with the cadets on the operations of the IT division. He also assured NNPC Limited that the knowledge garnered in the study tour will be judiciously utilized in the course of their career for the development and security of the nation. The High-Level Business Nigerian International Energy Summit annually offers the opportunity for companies to showcase their expertise and market their goods and services directly to key decision makers, industry leaders and all stakeholders from both the public and private sectors through networking and well-located international exhibition stands. Here are sights and sound from the event. <music> Thanks for staying with us on the program. And while the Nigerian International Energy Summit lasts, you can get all the updates of the event on this program and via our social media handles showing on your screen. That's the much we can take this week on energy and you. Till we come your way again next time. I'm Egusa Igumbo. Do take care. <laughs>